Okay, guys. I'm back. Apologize about that. Battery had uh, died on me there. But getting back to what I was saying here. It's a Blackest Night poster. Check that out. Pretty cool. Here. It's another poster I had gotten from the uh, DC table. This one is Planetary. Check that out. This one is Batman and Robin. Okay, and then this was the official program uh, to the show, uh, the Baltimore Comic Con. Basically, uh, it just told you uh, where your artists were, and this was the map that I used uh, to find out where everything was. But of course, you can't rely on this all the time because, as you know, in my previous video, I explained to you the little mishap I had with trying to find Stan Sakai, and this map was the one that I used. It said he was up against the wall, and he really wasn't. He was like in the middle of the floor somewhere. But anyhow, use this. Uh, there's a directory in here of retails and exhibitors, Artist Alley. Uh, also panels that are going on that day. Uh, they have a list of the 2009 uh, guests of honor. Uh, there's a programming guide in here, advertisements, stuff like that. So usually, uh, this is what you get when you go to a comic book convention. They'll have programs. Uh, and like I said, basically it contains all that information uh, telling you uh, the shows, uh, activities, and events uh, day by day. And this is my old sketch pad. Picked this up at a discount store. It says $7.99 on there, but I paid a buck ninety-nine for it. And uh, it comes with a hundred sheets in here, acid free. And this is the pad that I take around to get all my sketches uh, at each con that I go to. Uh, you know, if a favorite artist uh, is there that I uh, grew up reading or that I currently read now, I'll get them to sketch in this book. And then what I do is I scan the sketches into my computer, print those out, and hang those on my wall. I don't dare put the real ones on the wall. These are uh, stored away somewhere for safekeeping. And this is a sketch that Stan Sakai did for me. So you can see that. Uh, he's the guy that created Usagi Yojimbo, and he has worked closely with Peter Laird on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, this is a sketch that he did for me. This is all for free. And as you can see, he put Usagi, and then he'll put a Ninja Turtle in the background. He signed it on the bottom, Baltimore, 2009. That's Stan Sakai right there. So I was really excited to get this. And you'll see in the other video that I post up at the end of the con, uh, the picture that I took with him, he, uh, he held this up in, in the picture. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I was really excited to get this. I'll also post up some video of him sketching this out. You guys be amazed. Some of you guys haven't seen an artist sketch before. It's amazing how they can turn a couple of lines, circles, and ovals into this in a matter of minutes. So uh, I'll put that up also. But yeah, this this is this is a treasure right here. I was very very happy to receive this. I'll tell you, I gushed all over him like a schoolgirl. <laughs> that was that was definitely my geek out moment of the weekend. And, last but not least, my pickups of the con, I have some action figures here. I was really excited to find these, and I almost didn't find them. That's because the guy had them underneath his table, hidden away. I don't know why he had them under there, hidden away. Nobody could see them, but I'm glad nobody saw these, because these I really wanted. I've been wanting these for the longest. Uh, these are action figures based off... Batman the animated series and they were released back in 92 and as usual I was a kid then I wasn't able to get them this is the Joker check that out mint on card still has the price tag on there from KB Toys $7.99 there it is the Joker and he comes with uh, laughing gas spray gun so that's pretty awesome. I was very happy to find this one. And then, 
I found in the same series. This is Bruce Wayne with snap-on Batman armor. This also is in the same condition. Uh, Men on card, uh, still has a price tag on it. Found this in the same box underneath his table. Batman the Animated Series. And I love the artwork on the card alone. That is just so beautiful. And these were put out by uh, Kenner, which also did the uh, Ghostbusters toys. And the last one that I picked up was Robin. That's him right there. Batman the Animated Series. I found that. So that was pretty cool. So all in all, for these three figures here, they were $7.99 a pop back in 92. You'll never guess how much I paid for each one of these. The guy was running a sale. Three for $10 on all three of these. So that was a steal in itself alone. So I was very excited to find all of these. So now I have my Batman animated series figures. Um, I have my Batman Dark Knight figures and then the regular DC superheroes figures that I had bought that you saw on my previous um, Batman 20th anniversary video. So those are going to go along nicely with those that you saw in that video. So yeah, I was happy to find these. So there they are. All three Batman figures from Batman the Animated Series. Joker, Bruce Wayne, and Robin himself. So that's awesome. So all in all, that's uh, all that I picked up at the, uh, at the con. That's about it. And like I said, I spent roughly... Uh, between like 140 150 bucks for everything you know because usually at the shows you can get books for like a dollar or 25 cents 50 cents like that so oh no it was a very very good weekend i enjoyed the heck out of myself i'm sad it's over but hey all good things got to come to an end right so uh yeah that's about it that's about it so i think uh i think i'll end this here and uh i'm gonna be putting up the rest of my videos uh today and stuff like that and I'm trying to think if there's another show that I'm going to, I think it's coming up pretty soon. Uh, I can't remember right now, but uh, as it gets closer and I can figure out the dates, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know and I'll be putting up another video of that one, all right? So, uh, so yeah, that's it. All right, guys? Hey, thanks a lot for watching and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.